what smart contracts do is they evolve agreements into something that is beyond the control of any one centralized entity. And the, the reason that that's important is that you can now have impartial, technologically enforced agreements. One example that I, that I always like is insurance. So there are many parts of the world where you can't have something like crop insurance. And people that don't really think about that, they like, okay, crop insurance, what is that? Who cares? But the reality is, is if you're a farmer and you don't have crop insurance, you could have two seasons of drought and you could end up in a situation where you have to stop being a farmer, you upend your life and become a, a migrant worker or something. But if you do have insurance, you can pay a small premium, you can go through the two seasons of drought, and you can come out on the other end still being a farmer and still contributing to society and still living a productive economic uh, kind of life. And so the, the, the fascinating thing about smart contracts is that what they enable people to do or what they enable the world to have is a parallel technologically enforced system of contracts that people like farmers in emerging markets with no really good legal system can have access to. Mm -hmm. So this means that a company like, uh, like Arbol, which is an insurance company we work with, can make crop insurance contracts. Regardless of the local legal system, they can provide those crop insurance contracts on a blockchain that's accessible to those people because they have access to the internet and blockchains are accessible through the internet. And then what, what our system does is it proves whether the rainfall or the drought occurred mm -hmm. and that allows the triggering of that contract in this parallel technologically enforced legal system. 